Hello, lovely people. Welcome back to Ravi's Focus Hive. The world is struck by a pandemic, coronavirus. Everything is standing still. Government has locked down a lot of states. It's a difficult situation for everyone. Show must go on. And that's the motto, right? The business has to continue, whether it is from office or home. And hence, everyone is working from home. For some, it is more than a week. For some, it is a week. For some, it is just a few days of operating from home. And while you can see a straightaway trend in social media where you're seeing a change in perception. People who always thought work from home was a fun thing are now thinking whether it is really a fun thing to work from home. All the bosses who were skeptical about working from home and letting their workforce work from home are now very positive because they are seeing the workforce is giving way more than expected while they are working from home and while they are being less controlled. So I'm going to share the pros and cons that I have felt while I have been operating working from home uh, on an extended period. So what I have seen as the pros and cons, let me share that with you. And two most important cons that comes out is it's very easy to get distracted. I mean, if you're alone, then it's a different thing. But if you're living in a family, you'll have kids, you'll have spouse, you'll have parents, you'll have so many other factors that can distract you. The second most important point is that we overwork. Because of this habit of having a device always with us, the phone, the laptop, always with us, gets us into the habit of overworking. I'm not saying being productive, but I'm saying overworking. Which means before you go to bed, you would want to look at your emails. And if something comes up that needs your attention, you would immediately open your laptop and start working on it, which is wrong. We shouldn't do that. Now, those are the two important uh, negatives of working from home. While I just spoke about the negatives, let me tell you the positives of working from home. The one most important positive of working from home is that you don't have to face traffic. You're not traveling to office. You're not wasting your time on the road. So you're gaining a lot of time and you're gaining a lot of peace of mind for yourself. So you're saving a lot on time and you're giving your mind a lot of peace because you're not traveling and you're not getting stuck in that stupid traffic jam. You don't have, you know, nobody's cutting you on the road and driving, right? So you, you're, you're away from all of that nonsense. The second thing is, while major offices provide dormitory, and if you're feeling not, if you're feeling tired, you can use the dormitory, go and sleep. Most of the time, you don't want to feel, you don't want to use them, and you would rather be at your seat and stretch a bit and get relaxed. But look at the benefit when you're working from home. You have your working workplace where you're working from. And then suddenly you feel tired, you want to lie down, go to your bedroom, lie down. That's very important benefit of working from home. If you want to take a power nap, quick half an hour power nap, go for it. It's your own home. You go up, sleep half an hour, come back refreshed and be more productive. So what are my top tips for you while you work from home? Number one, keep your laptop, keep your cell phone always charged. They are your Brahmastra. They are the ones 
they are the devices they are the tools that you use to work they are most important so they need to be in the best possible shape and they need to be always charged and show that they are in a working condition and they're always charged because people may want to connect with you people may want to reach you and if your devices are not charged there is a difficulty and then perception building you don't want that to happen number two is break your work into smaller chunks I would say break your work into 15 20 minutes nuggets don't more work more on anything more than 20 minutes give yourself that relaxation after every 20 minutes that will make you more productive if or I would say that will make you more productive versus if you were to work for two three hours straight on a specific topic what will happen if you're straight working on something for a long hour your mind will get blocked and that has happened with me and hence I'm sharing it that break the work into smaller nuggets and the smaller the work time is for a specific work try to prioritize it first why if you're able to get something done quickly it gives you that dopamine kick and you start feeling good about it and the moment you start feeling good about it you start working and achieving more and more and more so that's just a trick to trick your brain to trick your brain to just secrete those juices to make you more energized so that's a very important tip the other one is the third tip is that plan your day I've kept it at the third point ideally it should be the first one but I've kept it in the third point because I wanted to stress on the health of your devices and the amount of time you spend on a specific task those are the most important ones that is why I have kept as number one and number two number three I'm keeping as plan your day right I'm not saying go figure out a planner buy something of 1500 rupees and then start spending two hours just filling your planner that's stupid don't do that but have a general idea of how your day looks like maybe have bullet points of what you're going to achieve today right and hence I suggest everybody to have a rough plan for yourself for that day the moment you get up or the moment you earlier I used to say that you once you reach office you do that now I would say once you're ready to work you the first thing is plan your day that's super important remember how while you are in office you would get up from your chair and walk around maybe you go to the pantry or you go to the loo or you just walk up and go to the next bay and talk to your friends and how you would feel refreshed you are not able to do that in home hence it's important that you take breaks off your work and go out maybe sit on the balcony maybe go to the garden if you have maybe go to the roof do a little strolling maybe play with your pet maybe just talk with your spouse take that break that's very important last one actually there are two more right so last second last one is while I am from IT and a lot of people my whole my crowd is in IT so I would suggest everybody to uh, invest in a noise cancellation headphone that is super important because now you're working from home and when you're talking with your customers or your partners or your colleagues or your managers or you're part of a meeting you don't want weird sounds to go through your mic right so you need to have a good noise cancellation headsets uh, I, I guess you should have already bought it now it's it will be difficult to buy it now because obviously unless the lockdown is over you wouldn't get it but that's important and the last one is because you are working from home obviously the chances are that your spouse is also also working from home and uh, you both have meetings you both have calls and well 
not everybody is lucky to have 15 bedrooms and 20 living rooms and 30 kitchens. Uh, most of us have just one living room, bedroom and a small corner where we all have to work from. So while you were working from office and she was working from home or if she was working from office and you were working from home, you were sharing that workplace. Now, you both have to utilize the same work area. So be respectful of your partner's work as well. When I say be respectful, ensure that your meetings are not colliding with hers. And I'm saying her because it's my wife. For you, it might be your husband. So try to plan that. Minimum collision. Plan that way. If you if you are the ownership, if the ownership is on you to have the meetings, do check with your spouse as if, if they also have a meeting at that time or not. So if they have, then don't schedule something at that time. And if you have to get on a call with uh, your work colleagues or managers or employees or anyone and at that time your spouse also has a meeting try uh, to figure out within yourself to find another place to take those calls just to avoid collision so that's an important factor we all have to take into consideration right so these are some of the topics or these are some of the tips that i wanted to give and hope if you utilize these, you will be productive. You'll have a better peace of mind and you'll be well rested for the next day as well. So with this, I sign off and see you again on Ravi's Focus Hive. Bye.